Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Pinch Payments Overview webinar. My name is Vicky, and I'll be hosting today's webinar. Today's session will run for approximately 30 minutes, with time for questions at the end. Questions can be submitted at any time in the question box on the webinar's control panel. Our presenter today is Paul Allen. In this webinar, Paul from Pinch will give you an overview of Pinch Payments. You'll learn how Pinch Payments integrates with the Reckon and how you and your clients can benefit. Plus, hear all about the exclusive partner Pinch Club. I'll now hand you over to Paul. Thanks, Vicky. Hi, guys. Um, so my name's Paul. I'm the co-founder of Pinch Payments. Um, we are an um, online payments business based in Brisbane. Uh, there's myself and Ben Cull, who is my other co-founder. Um, what I will do today is I'll go through um, a little bit of a background on, on who we are as a company, um, and then I'll focus the remainder of the presentation on how we work with, with Reckon. Um, we work uh, with both Reckon One and IPA Books. Um, we also work with um, the Reckon hosted product, um, and we're also working with the, uh, the Reckon product team to try and bring the same experience to the um, desktop and enterprise clients as well. Um, so what we do is we help you and your clients get paid online. So what we're looking for um, is feedback from yourselves on how this works, um, whether you think that this is something that you could comfortably offer to your clients as well, um, and, um, uh, and also really um, how we can work together to, to try and make getting paid um, from uh, the Reckon platform um, easy and as, as painless as possible. So uh, just a, a bit more of an overview as to, as to, as to what we do. So uh, we focus on online payments. Um, so that is card not present. So uh, getting paid from an invoice that's sent directly from Reckon or from a subscription, uh, which may be you know, a monthly service fee, or it may be a, a, if you've got clients who run membership clubs, it may be a, a weekly or a monthly um, membership subscription. Um, we can automate that using our um, direct debit facility. Um, so as mentioned before, um, compatible with both Reckon One and, and Hosted. Um, we like to um, try and give our clients a, a, a full service offering. And so what we do is we've worked with the Reckon product team to make sure that the um, accounting reconciliation is as complete as possible. Um, and so that means that when we pay you into your bank account, we've already done the heavy lifting for you in um, the rec and file. So you'll see the line from the bank statement, uh, whether you have an automated bank feed from rec and one, upload a CSV file into hosted. And then you'll also see that we create expenses um, to, to account for all of our fees. And I'll go into that in a little bit more detail um, later on. The, the other um, thing that we have, which is available to everyone, is the ability to on charge our fees um, onto the card holder or the account holder, uh, which effectively makes Pinch um, pretty much free, depending on the payment methods that you accept um, for your business. Um, if your card holders are paying the, uh, the processing fee, uh, we only charge when we process a payment. We don't charge a monthly subscription fee. Uh, we don't charge setup fees um, or anything like that. Um, so, um, so that's always an option to you as well. Um, so a little bit about, about us. Um, that's myself and Ben in our ridiculous lobster hats that, that tend to crop around a little bit. Also the inspiration for the, uh, for the new branding, which, um, which we're now going with. Um, so we're two software developers. Uh, we have a number of years experience in both software development and also in the financial services industry. Um, we decided um, how hard can it be to start our own company in payments. Um, it turns out it's very hard. Uh, please don't do it. It's really very difficult. <laughs> but um, we're, uh, we're getting there now. It's been um, um, a fairly, fairly slow process, which is probably um, in, in hindsight has been a, a good thing so that we can iron out a lot of um, um, a lot of problems that early stage startups um, suffer from. So we're fairly mature now. Uh, we uh, we were, were accepted into the zero marketplace in 2017. Um, Intuit followed the year after 
Um, we're now up to, um, now it's 2020, we're up to about $1.5 million we process um, each month um, for all of our clients combined. Um, and what we did is we, end, we entered into an agreement with Reckon um, to try and provide seamless payment experience for, for anyone with a, with a Reckon One or a hosted um, account. Uh, we'll be at the um, accredited uh, partner conference um, at the end of March. Uh, we're working closely with, with, with Sam, Jason and the rest of the product team to try and make this as, um, um, as, uh, uh, as good an experience as possible. Um, and yeah, so we, we now work with about 500 um, clients in, in, in total, um, all small businesses, all Australian based. Um, and, and that's really where our um, focus lies and will continue to lie. So just a little bit of a, uh, um, a, a peek into, into what the product uh, will do. Um, as you can see here on the bottom right, uh, that's just a, a very vanilla um, invoice template from Reckon Hosted. Uh, the first thing that you can see is that there's now an online payment link uh, with, a, with a URL at the bottom. So when you send an email out to your client, um, then you will now um, have this payment link which your client can click on. Um, and you'll see the, the invoice there. Um, it's, it, that, that, that's very similar to how the invoice will look to your client. Um, and then your client will then have the ability to, um, to make that payment online. So that comes direct from a Reckon invoice that you send. What we'll actually do is uh, we'll, we'll, we'll bring across all of the invoices that are currently um, either outstanding or, um, um, or, 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 or due um, within the next few weeks. Um, and so your client actually can see um, a list of all of those invoices there and they can choose which ones they want to pay. Um, the other thing that we um, we offer on this page is that your client at this stage can say, look, um, I have a, a good relationship with you. I have a recurring relationship with you. Um, I will. I want you to store my card details so I don't have to come back here again the next time an invoice is due and fill out all of my payment information again. Um, it makes it easier for them and it makes it easier for you to receive payment. So what we will do is we'll store that those card details or those bank account uh, details in our secure um, facility. Um, and the next time we see an invoice due, everything works on the due date, we'll then go ahead and, um, and we can process that, submit that to the bank automatically. Uh, we'll send yourself an email and we'll also send your client an email um, um, informing of, of, of what's happened. Um, and we'll also set that invoice as paid in your Reckon file, so you don't need to worry about uh, reconciling what's in your bank with the invoices that have uh, that have now been paid. Um, and in order to do that, we we create our own dedicated clearing account in your chart of accounts, and that's just known as the Pinch Payments Clearance account. And that's a really handy view, uh, to, so that you can always have a look in there and see. Um, the funds that we've uh, collected from your clients, but not yet deposited into your account. It's almost a, a funds in flight account. Um, so I'll just go through um, a small video of, um, of, of how a payment works. Now this video is, um, is focused on um, hosted, um, but again, the same, pretty much the same experience applies for, um, for Reckon One as well. Um, and I will just play that now. So you can see here that I'm just creating a, a standard invoice in um, Reckon Hosted. You can see on the right hand side of that little box there the online payment link, which we've already added in. So you don't need to go and add that payment link in yourself. We'll do that when we set up um, with the file. Um, so I'll double click on the on the invoice and I'll click to email it to my uh, to my client. Um, and this is all the, exactly the same as you normally would do. You see, we've now got a payment link, which we can click, and then your client will see this experience where they can see the number of payments that um, are outstanding. Um, in this case, we're deciding to, to make a payment using a credit card. Um, and then this form will then be submitted to direct to Pinch. So this is a payment that, uh, that this is a page that Pinch uh, manage. Um, and we now hit to, to pay that payment. Uh, your client receives um, confirmation along with a receipt, and you can see that in Reckon Hosted, that invoice has now been, been set to paid. Um, and it's as simple as that. Um, once the file is set up, 
um, we manage all of the payment links that we embed into the PDF document. All that we ask you to do is to change your um, invoice template that we're using the layout designer. You will see that there's an online payment link um, as an option now. Um, and you can just put that on your template anywhere you like. And then that will uh, that will appear every time you send um, an email out to your client. Um, so it's a really easy to get started and, and, and just accept payments from um, fr from invoices. Um, we also give you access to our own portal. So this is a separate login to your Reckon account. You will create an account with Pinch when you initially want to connect to either your uh, Reckon One or hosted account. Um, and from the portal, you get um, an overview as to uh, the payments that we've processed any failed payments that we've tried to process or that your client has, has, has tried to, to process um, and the reasoning for that. If you have a pre-approval, which means that uh, the your client's card details are stored in our portal, then you can actually re-attempt that from this portal. Um, you don't necessarily have to send the invoice out and, and ask for a client to, um, to authorize that payment. Uh, we can do that from in here. We can also use this um, very much like a virtual terminal. So, um, if you have a client that, that calls you up and says, look, I've got my card details here right now, I'll just make a payment. Uh, you can log into Pinch, find the payment. Um, so the um, uh, the references are all the same references that you'll have in, in Reckon. Um, search for the payment, click on the Pay Now link, um, and then you'll be able to enter in their card details over the phone um, and, and and know that you know your um, those details are all stored securely. From here, you can also create uh, what we call payment plans, which I'll go into um, uh, in, in a little bit uh, more detail later on. Um, that's really good if you if you're looking at uh, subscription payments. Um, you maybe offer uh, recurring services to your clients. It also works equally well if you have a large if you have large value invoices that you'd like to um, offer instalment payments for. You can do that as well. Um, Again, from this, this portal, we'll, you, you can have multiple users can, can access this system. So they don't need to, if you have someone who works in your company that you don't want access to your reckon file, but you want them to be able to man manage payments, then you can add um, as many users as you want to this file. It always, in the background, it keeps a sync with your reckon file, um, but you can also um, choose to, 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 to perform a sync um, there and then. Um, and you can also hear more importantly, probably is that you can manage the payment methods that you want to accept. So you might not want to accept credit cards, for example, or you might not want to accept payments from bank accounts. Um, and you also may want to pass on fees. Um, so from here, you can pass on the fee for, for all of your clients, or you can actually pass on fees for individual clients. Uh, you can also pass on fees for, for, for credit card payments and not bank accounts and vice versa. So it's fairly flexible. Um, we're also about to introduce a, um, um, a new feature whereby you can specify um, that um, if a payment is below a certain amount, then we'll process that automatically. But if it's above a certain amount, then we won't process that um, automatically, but you still have the option to come in here and process it. Uh, let's just say once the um, once the client has give you authority to do so. So fairly uh, fairly flexible and we continue to work on that portal um uh, continuously uh, and most of that input comes from our partners and also the uh, the reckon product team as well uh, so a little bit more information on receiving a payment that video didn't really show too much um so as i mentioned before we have uh, we create a new chart of account called the pinch clearing account and as you can see in that screenshot on the on, on the top there you can see that the deposit two shows the pinch clearing account and that's the full amount of the invoice regardless of whether you are passing the fees on or, or not. Um, so this is what we do for, for every single payment we process. Now, whether that's direct from um, an email that you've sent your client, whether you're using a virtual terminal or whether it's uh, a recurring payment that we process automatically, it's the same process. We create um, our own payment method um, so that it should be really easy for you to, to go and take reports um, for payments received from Pinch. Um, we also have our uh, payment reference. You can see there in the in the reference number. That's the same reference that your um, client will receive when they receive an email to say that a payment has gone through. So it should make it pretty easy for you to um, uh, to reconcile that. 
Um, uh, and as I mentioned before, um, it works with both Rec and One and, and Hosted. So I've just included a screenshot there from Rec and One as well. Um, as far as settlements are concerned, we um, try and make this as automated as possible. We've worked with uh, with Jason Hollis and the team to um, um, to, to to try and um, um, make receiving payments to your bank um, as easy as possible. Whether it's settling one payment or a hundred payments, it's the same process. Um, and so what we do is we raise um, a check for all the fees that have been incurred. Uh, so that you have a line by line breakdown of all of the fees that you've paid on that settlement um, including any um, any fees that you've also charged onto the client if you are on charging to a client then we actually create an additional um, invoice which takes care of that as well um, we the the amount that we deposit into your bank um, physically will match up with the deposit that we create in in reckon to um, so you should be able to identify those payments really easily and also know that all of your invoices are in the correct status by the time that you come to uh, reconcile that. Um, so we think that that will, should save time, especially if your business or your client's business are, 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 are receiving lots of payments each month. Um, it should hopefully be a big time saver. Um, so I'll go on to a little bit about direct debit. So we all know what direct debit is um, you probably all have a direct debit um, in agreement with um, with your say power company or your water company um, and now you can offer that same facility to to your clients um, and, and and really in the simplest possible way all the direct debit is is your client giving you the authority to process payments um, on a on a date when the date uh, when, when the payment is due um, now unlike um, uh, some other direct debit providers, we don't lock you in to a specific amount and frequency. So, you know, we're not saying to you that this direct debit is only applicable if you are going to charge $30 a month to this client. Um, it covers all invoices. Uh, the direct debit is more based on the relationship between you and your client. Uh, now, of course, for those high value invoices that you may not want to um, have pushed through automatically, you can set a limit. Um, and say uh, only invoices below a certain value will go through automatically. Um, but again, if you've got subscription payments that you're charging for, you've got clients that have, um, may, maybe they're running a, a firm that, um, that needs to re um, receive payments regularly from their clients, this is a really good way to improve their cash flow. It's also a really good way to improve your life when you're trying to reconcile their books and they've not uh, made a great job of it. Uh, will automatically um, ensure that everything is assigned correctly. Um, again, it, it syncs with your rec and file, so there's no need for you to go and double enter. If you're using another payments gateway for uh, for recurring payments, you'll probably have to set up the uh, a memorized transaction or a repeating invoice in in rec and one, and then go to your payments gateway and set up a, an ongoing schedule. So you're you're actually entering into two different systems there. Um, all of our direct debit payments uh, come directly from the reckon schedule that you've set up. Um, as I mentioned before, you can also create the payment schedule in Pinch, and that as well is is all synced with reckon. Again, there's no there's no double entry. Um, your client and yourself are always kept fully informed by any payments that we process, so both successful and failed payments. And if a payment does fail, um due to insufficient funds or, or, or another reason we can automatically reattempt um, that payment as well um, and we can reattempt that up to um, up to five times um, and, and and we'll take care of that schedule too so i just want to touch on um what the offering is for um, um ap's now now we are you know we're um we're still fairly new on the um on, on this scene we know that um, you guys have uh, clients that may benefit from this. Um, we know that um, your clients will trust your decision making here um, far more so than they would do if we just gave them a call out of out of the blue. So what we want to do is we want to try and make um, Pinch as attractive as possible to the um, accredited partners, and that's another reason why we're working so closely with Reckon. So we've designed um, a partner program called the Pinch Club. 
um, which um, uh, we, we, we can distribute out more information on. Uh, and there's a few things that we that we try and do here. Uh, what, what we're essentially doing is making the um, uh, an accredited partner um, essentially a VIP um, customer of Pinch. So what we'll do is we'll guide you through how um, how everything is set up. I'll of course go into a lot more detail than than what I can today to tell you exactly what changes we're making to your rec and file um, and how the process works. Um, we can also give you access to our um, test or sandbox environment to give you the option to to play around with a test file. Um, we we also give you um, training sessions as well. Uh, we'll also help out with if you've got a client that thinks they may uh, that you think may benefit from pinch but you're you're a little bit unsure as to whether to take that uh, that deep dive we can also um, call in on joint scoping sessions we'll actually engage with your client as well uh, to give them the best advice uh, we don't want people to be using pinch um, if it's not a good fit for their business it affects our reputation and it affects um, your rep um, um, reputation as someone who has referred the product um, so we want to make sure that we're a good fit for them. Um, we also do um, give you financial incentives as well. So there is a revenue share model on offer. Um, any client that you refer to us, um, we will actually pay you back 5% of the revenue that that client generates pinch. Um, and so it's unless you've got a lot of clients that you think would use Pinch, it's probably not going to um, enable you to retire early, but it would be a really nice uh, passive income for you each month. Um, and, and that's something that we um, that we think is pretty important to do. Uh, we have a number of partners now that um, um, that, that, that receive um, fairly regular payments from us. Um, and I think one of the other things we like to do is we, we, we try and make it as, as easy as possible for you to manage the client once you've signed them up. So um, as you're probably uh, aware in Reckon One, you can switch between you know, your file and you can switch into your client's files as well. You can do the same thing with Pinch, so you don't have to go and, um, and share passwords and the like. Um, and there's also a direct phone number for all APs that can call us, uh, either speak to myself, uh, Ben, or one of the other guys who are who are working and we can we can try and give you the um, um, personalized um, advice that you may need for a particular client or even if it's for your own file. So that's um, an overview of so, of so where we're at right now. Um, I want to also touch on um, what's coming up with Pinch um, uh, and, and also um, get your feedback on um, on the on the new payment plans that we've that we've added in. So the first thing that we're looking at is statement billing. So I mentioned um, earlier on that when a client clicks through from an invoice, they will actually see all of the um, current outstanding invoices. Right now, what they would have to do is they would have to click on each individual invoice to pay. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to introduce statement billing where they can essentially um, check a box at the side of each outstanding invoice and then say that they want to submit that payment. And what we'll do is we'll batch that up um, send that over to the bank as one lump sum and then we'll set all of those invoices paid on your side so it's easier for your customer to pay you and it's easier for you uh, to receive um, um, those payments when when, it, when a client has a lot of um, outstanding um, payments due. So that should be coming fairly soon I'm hoping to get that into the system before the um, AP conference at the end of March uh, and again any payments made this way will be fully reconciled um, as normal. So um, again, we're trying to automate as much as possible. We're also looking into mobile payments. Um, and so this here would be um, is, is an app that uh, would be free to any any client of Pinch. You can download that to your Android or iPhone, smartphone. Um, and really what it would allow you to do um, or your client to do is if, if say, for example, you've got a, um, a client in the, um, in, in the trades industry, maybe they go on site, they will be able to pull up the invoices from their reckon file um, and um, and then they'll be able to take payment out in the field um, by just by keying in the, the credit card details or they can that they can go ahead and create a, a new payment they, they may want to just say look um, I'm going to take a deposit for say $100 this is a description um, click OK the payment will go through and then we will actually create that invoice in reckon and then set that as paid as well um, so that should hopefully be coming 
um, probably the next quarter of, uh, uh, of this year. Um, and again, if people are interested in, um, in, in seeing early versions of that, then, uh, then certainly contact me. Um, the final one is the payment plans. So what you can do here is um, you can use this as a subscription module. Um, and so we can create indefinite payment plans that will just uh, keep um, charging your client every, say, two weeks or every every month. Um, um, and, and then what we'll do is we'll create the invoice and then we'll set the invoice as paid. Um, what you can also do, which is probably a little bit more powerful, is what we call um, installment payments or milestone payments. So if you've got an invoice in in Reckon right now, that's you know it's one of those invoices that just remains unpaid because your clients having a hard time paying it all up front. Rather than saying to them, okay, well you know I'll tell you what, just send me five hundred dollars a month from your bank. Um, what you can do is you can offer them a payment plan. So um, in this case, we can work on percentages as well as fixed amounts. So um, you know you might want to say. Um, up front, I want 10% of the value of this invoice, and then I'll wait a week, and then every fortnight, I want another 5% until the value, uh, the full value of the invoice is, is fully paid off. And what we will do is we will uh, work out the schedule, uh, we will store the payment information as normal, and then we'll start um, uh, adding partial payments into the invoice in Reckon until it, it, is, um, it is all fully paid off. Um, so we've got a number of clients using that right now um, and it's just a, a, a good way to offer um, an alternative um, pay, pay payment method there for, for those larger invoices. Uh, we can also generate um, a, a single invoice in Reckon um, and then add partial payments to, to that invoice as well. Uh, that's really good if you've got a client who is in the, say is in the event space, they can have a pinch form on say an iPad um, get their customer to fill in their information um, that, that would then attach them to a payment plan and we'll then create the invoice um, and then add partial payments to that as well. Um, so a few different things that you can do with that. I'm um, more than happy to, to go through um, in a little bit more detail with, with anyone who wants to learn more information. This is actually available now. I just haven't updated the slide deck. Uh, so this is available to all, all clients that, um, uh, that have a pinch account. Um, and that's pretty much it from my side. It was a bit of a bit of a high level overview. Um, again, anyone who wants um, any more information, feel free to get in contact with us or the Reckon team. Uh, but yeah, we're we're here to help. Um, I think at this point, I'll I'll hand over back to Vicky to see if there's any questions. Thanks, Paul. Um, there's no questions as yet. If anyone does have any, please submit them now. Okay, it looks like there's no questions. So if you would like a recording of today's webinar, please just email training at reckon.com and we can forward one to you. Thank you, Paul, for the presentation today and thank you all for attending. Anything else no you'd like to add, Paul? Uh, no, just uh, I think, yeah, uh, the only thing from me is if you're interested in, in getting involved with us, just send an email to that um, email address and uh, we'll be sure to contact you. Great. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day. Thanks, everyone. Bye.